what's going on everybody uh so <clears throat> i decided to make a hopefully a another quick video i don't know this one might be a little bit longer um but just something that i recently got into and have started using to make some of these videos um is interfaces and like learning how to record music and even at the most minor level which is what we're going to deal with today because um, I'm definitely not as advanced as I want to be on it uh, but I'm learning and uh, I think just getting your feet wet is like the most important thing and so really today what I'm going to do is kind of go over how I record and just kind of the little things that you can do in the at least the cheapest way that I've figured out how to do it um, to this point uh, how to record guitar tracks and vocal tracks and uh, so on and so forth and so uh, just to get started I want to show you kind of um, some options that you can use to do this with and so the main the main hub of everything that you're going to be doing with this is an is using an interface and so there's a lot of options out there <clears throat> you can find something like this m audio um, m track two by two and this is a pretty cheap one pretty inexpensive it's like 120 bucks or something you can find these uh used i've seen them as, as cheap as 80 bucks and so uh you can find those on ebay reverb and whatnot and it offers two inputs and um, I haven't experimented with this one much I borrowed this one from a friend and uh, but it works I've used it before on some demo stuff but there are there are many few and far between options for interfaces and what you can use and what you can't use uh, the biggest thing and the biggest benefit that you get from using particular ones are preamps and so uh, the the signal path and how hot the signal is how um how clear the signal is and there's just a lot of different options and this is the one i'm currently using right now is the focus rock ti2 scarlet 2i2 not ti2 scarlet 2i2 so it offers um two ends and also there's two output options too so you can even use this as a hub for some uh external um, speakers like some some monitor speakers or whatnot and it even has control buttons for that but essentially you have two inputs that can either be utilized with uh, XLR or a quarter inch style and has option to change them from instrument to line and so uh, I would recommend just in my experience if you're using a quarter inch use the instrument cable if you're using an XLR use the line uh, that's just kind of what I've learned to kind of use and what works best for me and so um <clears throat> i'm gonna plug this up in a minute but i kind of want to explain how i have this running through my pedal board as well and so uh, let me let me turn this camera around and we'll show you a little bit okay so what we have right now is my pedal board and as you can see it looks a hot mess there's a lot of stuff going on with it right now um but i'm running from my guitar that's here laying on the floor i don't recommend that either i'm running into my um pedal board starting with the under facer and then it obviously runs through and then i'm running out of my under facer and it's eventually when i um when i set it back up it's going to run into this first input on the scarlet and um i'll show you right now how to easily record music without paying any particular thing and not spending a ton of money sweet so um <clears throat> as i just explained i'm running through my pedal board so my guitar is going into my underfacer running through my pedal board and then coming out of the underfacer into input one um, on my focus right scarlet 2i2 and then this is the easiest way that i found in the quickest and um the cheapest way because it's a free program if you have a macbook on how to record music and so um what you're going to do is you're going to go to your mac and you're going to go up here and you're going to type in your garage band 
And so I've already taken the liberty of doing that. And so when it pulls up, it's going to give you an option for new project generally. And it's going to show these things. Um, if you have a focus try and you want to do this the quickest way, you want to click on voice and hit choose. And then you're going to pull up and it's going to show all these different things right here and you don't really want any of them. So just hit the backspace button or the delete button until you come to this screen and it's going to highlight this microphone here. Make sure you're not on one of these, but you're on the microphone and then, um, <clears throat> you're going to go down and make sure that it says your instrument is connected with your Scarlett or your focus route or whatever. Um, if it's not, then go to the input device option and then click your Scarlett. And uh, if you want to use an external speaker or something, you can use that. But if you're just wanting to go through some headphones or your go through and um, your built in output, that's what you're going to do. And then once you see it's paired down here, you want to click the input that it's in. So if it was an in input to, um, you're going to do input two or you're going to do um, input one, which is where my guitar is plugged in. And I'm going to hit create. And then um, it's going to pop up to this kind of page right here. And you're going to see the option um, to play and to do all these things. but And have all this EQ and the master and controls and effects and EQ. You can add an EQ to the track once you've recorded something. Um but what I always start with is you got to right click on this audio one um, and click where it says track header components and make sure it says show record enable on it and it'll pop up and show this little dot. You want to make sure that it's red flashing like that or it's just red and solid and stay put. That means that it is tracking recording and then from there you're just going to go up here make sure your header is started on the one if that's where you want it to go and you're going to hit the record option turn your guitar up and you're going to be able to play and it's going to track it for you Well, anyways, enough of that. When you want to stop, you just hit the space bar and it'll stop it for you. And, of course, I have it turned up in real time for you. So, um, <clears throat> using a trick that I have, uh, so that way I can talk and play at the same time and you can hear both. But, if you wanted to go back and listen to it, all you have to do is bring your header back to the start and hit space bar again. And, it'll run through and it should play for you. So as you're picking up, probably through my microphone, and it probably doesn't sound as good as you heard it the first time, um, it's because it's coming through an external monitor and my mic is picking it up. But anyways, that's a, just a very simple way that you can record um, a guitar and a microphone, even if you wanted to do it that way. And uh, if you wanted to shoot a video like me, I'll go ahead and show you this option too. And so... If you wanted to do a, um, some videos like I've been doing, one of the things that you have to go in and do to start that is create an aggregate device, which seems like it's a pain in the butt, and you're like, what the heck is that? But it allows me to use an interface um, like the one I'm using, and then use something like a USB uh, microphone. And so if you have an interface like the Focusrite, and you have an XLR mic like... Um, a sure sm7 or something then that's perfect uh and you can just use two inputs and then you would just click to record two inputs but if you're using a uh, usb mic like i am and then you're using your focus right you can actually go in and you go to your magnifying glass and you type in midi and once it comes up to audio midi setup just hit enter and it's going to show these options for you to create an aggregate device 
And if it doesn't show an aggregate device, you just go down here and hit the plus sign, hit create an aggregate device. Then it's going to come up with all the input options that you have. And what you're going to do is click your scarlet with the two inputs and then your USB microphone. And then once you've clicked that, then you're good to exit out. And you'll actually go in to GarageBand the same as you would. But instead of your Scarlet, you would go to your aggregate device. And then essentially what it would do is um, it would pull up. Well, let me see. Once you click aggregate device, the way you'd have to go in and then therefore um, shoot both of them is you pick your input one, which would generally be your microphone. Um, whatever whatever it was clicked first, I, I think it's generally the one that has the least amount of input. So as you can see, my mic is loud and clear and it's popping up on there. And so you know that you're ready to record there. And then I can hit this start button again or the add button. So I'll go up here and hit the add button again and then make sure it's on aggregate device. And then you want to do your second input or it might even be, I think it actually is three on my guitar. No, it's two. So my second input is actually my, my guitar. And so from there, I would just make sure that they're both flashing red. And then I can go in, record what I need to record. And I can play on top of it and it will track both of them. And it'll track everything and so once you're done with that you just sync it to a video and of course you can play it back record what I need to record and I can play on top of it and it will track both of them and it'll track everything and so yep so that's just an easy way to record both vocal and uh, instrument on something cheap and cost effective like a garage band or even something like an audacity I've just found uh, to be able to maneuver around get a garage band a little bit easier and to do some of these things like create an aggregate device um, but yeah if that's helpful for you please like um, subscribe and even um, leave a comment that would be great I'm, I'm literally just doing this to maybe uh, shed some light and kind of pay it forward because I definitely had some dudes uh, show me the way in some of these things and I'm by no means a professional at it but this is just simple ways that I'm using and um, utilizing these programs right now to bring content to you and to even resource um, the people on our worship team and so on and so forth and so uh, anyways y'all have a good evening and uh, enjoy it we'll see you later